Hello everyone, Voodoo here. In today's video, we're going to be going over all the dungeon route sims for both Spread Eagle and Left Right. We're going to be looking at which build is actually going to be the best to play for fortified weeks as a Havoc Demon Hunter in Mythic Plus. Before we get on to the video, I'm really close to 6,000 subscribers, so if you enjoy the content, maybe you've been watching for a bit and you're not subscribed, make sure you hit the sub button, really help me out. On your way down, you know, drop a comment and hit the like button as well. Helps spread the video, really helps support creators. Uh, now anyways, so today we are going over all of the dungeon builds. Now, um, in The Sims I've done, what I've basically done is I've used uh, this weak aura to, which I'll link in the description, to give me this SimC export right here, which allows me to sim each individual dungeon route. Now, there's a few assumptions from here. One, it's assuming that you're dealing 27% of a mob's health, which in an equal group, this is going to be true um, because there's three DPS. They all roughly account for 27% and then the tank and the healer account for the very little uh, percent that is left over basically. Um, but, you know, of course that can change, you know, if maybe you, uh, the people you're running with aren't as good, maybe your tank's really crazy, stuff like that. So that's an assumption for sure. Um, there's a few other assumptions made as well. Uh, so I set all the dungeons to 22 to have them be a little bit more um, viable and reasonable for more people. Originally I, had, I was doing them like 25s and stuff. Um, the thing with 25 versus 22, uh, it's not really going to change results too much. It will make left, right, and like rage fire based builds better the higher you go up into like 25s, 26s, stuff like that. Um, so I put them down to 22. Uh, and then on top of that, what I did is I used the routes from the play like the pros section of Raider IO, uh, the same that Atreyan did for his Sims. I also ended up using the uh, profile that was the BIS gear um, for the left, right. Now this doesn't actually end up changing too much. You'll see in the Sims, uh, the differences are sizable uh, to say the least for these routes. But I will say that depending on your gear, depending on your route, depending on your group comp, uh, then the solution can change. So I'll go over how to use these Sims um, in a second once we get to that portion of the video. Um, but first, I do want to talk about the builds that we are using. Um, so the important builds today, there are going to be a few. Um, this is not one of them. Let me just go to the first one. So this is the left, right, and plus build. This is your bread and butter build. In any of the Sims where it says like current, um, this is going to be that one. Um, this is left, right. You know, it's rolled around like throwing your glaives out, rage fire damage, really big mastery scaling, really, really big crit scaling, eye beam damage. Uh, stuff like that. This is like the bread and butter, the one we've been doing for a while. The next one is going to be uh, Spread Eagle, which is this one right here. This is a little bit less sustained damage. You don't have AMN, you don't have the Soul Ren stuff. Uh, but this is a lot more burst up front with uh, things like Inner Demon, things like Restless Hunter, uh, and then Glaive Tempest as well. I like to do some damage in like lower target counts. Uh, a lot more bursty, a lot more important to play around your meta burst with this build. Uh, than it is with the other one, although you still get a lot of meta burst with the other build. But this one you get a lot more because you get like, um, you get the Restless Hunter buff, uh, you get the Inner Demons. So this one is a lot more of the burst your build. And then also did Glaive Tempest. This is a bit more of like the single target or small cleave count build. Um, you have Glaive Tempest, uh, you have Improved Fell Rush just because there's no other points at the top of the tree to use. You have Cycle, you have Shattered Destiny for that really uh, strong sustained damage. Uh, and the last one was the frag build. Now I actually don't have a loadout for frag build, so I will uh, edit the spread eagle to show you. So frag build is going to be a little bit interesting if people haven't actually seen it before. The frag build drops stuff like Glaive Tempest and Restless Hunter, uh, and also uh, fodder and paths down to pick up any means necessary. Um, this is basically the frag build. I think he was actually using a new one, which involved like dropping this stuff to come down here. Uh, I didn't sim that, I simmed this instead. This is the old classic frag build. It's like for MDI stuff. I wouldn't really recommend using it. I know he uses it all the time, uh, but this is more for, so if you're like, you're just pulling insanely large pulls uh, every so often, this is more just for like MDI style pulls, um, not really used too much in the actual game. But those are the three um, builds uh, that are going to be used in these sims today. And again, they all just go under the assumption of, you know, you're doing 27%, uh, damage to 22 uh, and we're using the routes um, from the play like the pros section of the um, Raider IO website. So we're using that kind of like a baseline. It's the same stuff a trend did for his tyrannical sims and the havoc sheet. Um, so it's the same stuff I ended up doing here and I ended up using the um, Biscuit profile that we have for the um, AOE sims uh, for the left right build. So um, we'll go over quickly how to use this week or if you guys want to do this yourself. 
So it's really simple. So uh, basically you wanna do is like import your route. So I have my route here in MDT, Mythic Dungeon Tools. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna set it to my keyst keystone level and the affixes. You wanna make sure you have it either on Fortified or Tyrannical. You gotta make sure the weeks there are correct or else you're not gonna get a good sim because it will calculate mob HP. And just set your dungeon level. And then from there, you're going to do uh, SimC export. You're going to copy this thing and then we'll head on over to RaidBots and I'll show you where to put it. Start on RaidBots. Uh, we're just here on top gear. Uh, scroll down. So this is just kind of like the gear that the Sim is using. Uh, this is our abyss like AOE gear, stuff like that. Um, nothing too crazy, nothing too uh, confusing, anything like that. So we have the copy we had. These are just different talents. Uh, we'll just do this. Uh, we come down here to the footer. So what you want to do is you'll have all these things here. You want to open up a custom APL SimC options. Um, it's going to look like this. And you want to check expert mode, scroll down, and just paste the export from Weekora into the footer. What that's going to do is it's going to give you a sim uh, based on the dungeon route you exported from there. So, you know, this one is going off of um, Neltheris. So if you find top gear here, it'll compare the two um, builds I did. And it's going to process that. And I've already done these. We're going to go through them all and I'll talk about which one is which. So we're going to start off here with Brackenhide Hollow. Now Brackenhide Hollow uh, has been recently changed where you do have to pull a lot more trash. Um, basically what happened is that the Lashers um, that would summon from the big tree guys um, counted for uh, count. They don't anymore. So you end up having to pull a lot more. Um, I'll, again, I'll, I'll link the Playout to Pros thing on the bottom if people want to check out routes that were used for this video. Uh, but we can see here that the left right build is ahead. Um, GT is actually really close and so is Spread Eagle. These are pretty interesting. Um, on a build like this where we have a lot of like the mastery gear and the verse stuff and you know we like the, the verse gems because they end up swimming better. Um, GT and Spread Eagle when they're this close you probably can end up playing them changing your gear around a bit. I know that um, Fragment's really good for Spread Eagle. Um, GT like more haste stuff is better as well. So in Bracken and Hollow, not really too big of a difference. Now left right is better for this uh, pull stuff, um, but I can definitely see like the Glaive Tempest builds doing really good in Brackenhead Hollow, um, just because of like all the all the pull count and stuff. However, I think this is the closest dungeon. Uh, outside of this, uh, things are not that close. We'll move on to Freehold next. So here we go in Freehold. Left right is the winner, and uh, the difference is very large. Twenty thousand DPS difference between Freehold and Spread Eagle. Uh, the meta timings in this dungeon just aren't very good um for spread eagle and stuff like that like the top gear here which is left right uh ends up just having better damage remember packs come up so the issue with this one is just kind of meta timings you can see here they fall pretty far behind now again um this is there are assumptions made in these sims so if you do enjoy spread eagle um I, the difference probably isn't actually as stark or as big as it seems here so you know like go off and kind of just play what you want at the end of the day but it is looking like at least for these two dungeons uh freehold and brackenhide uh we are seeing that the left right build is better again though uh freehold we uh sorry brackenhide we are seeing the gt and spread eagle not too far behind frag bringing up the rear uh, by a good number I, I, I don't play the frag build. I don't think it's that good. But hey, look, it's better GT in this one. So we move on next to Halls of Infusion. Halls of Infusion, same old story, same old song and dance. We have left, right being better. It's better by roughly 13,000 DPS. Now this is one of the um, still pretty big uh, differences between the two. I uh, see the standard deviation is also like relatively like reasonable. So it's not like there's like crazy differences between the two of them. Uh, so left, right, probably going to end up being better in your halls and fusion runs as well. But again, if your route's different, spread eagle or, uh, might be better. Even if you have like fragment, might be a little bit better. Um, you know, take some of these things with a grain of salt. This is just a little bit of a proving exercise. Moving on from halls of fusion, Nels Lair. Now this one, again, left, right's better. Now I think this one could be a bit of a, um, just like what happens with, with the route. Route has some pretty big pulls pretty often. This is uh, Noo's route with um, the rest of the Echo people, uh, Clicks, Jinji, all that stuff. Uh, I think they did it on a 27 or something like that. So this is a really high uh, Keystone level. Um, but you know, again, I send this down to a 22. Um, so for your own pulls, um, it might be better to do a like GT based build in this dungeon. Depends how high you're going, of course, uh, just because the pulls aren't very big. Um, but this build is still very strong on the fortified weeks. Um, the different the DPS difference here does seem big, but again, you know, if you look at the routes, um, they do pull some pretty big stuff that might not happen for you in your normal runs. So do keep that in mind. So moving on from here, we go to Neltheris. Uh, again, you know, left, right, sim in the highest here. Uh, starting to see a trend. Now this one, again, I do want to point out. So there are massive, gigantic pulls here um, that do get blasted down with chains. 
So your damage probably isn't going to be this high. However, I do something left, right is good. Uh, probably the best. Gives you options to hit some of the bosses whenever you have a low down, uh, have downtime, which is going to happen on basically all the bosses. There's going to be some downtime. You can just chuck a glaive at them. Um, and again, you know, a little bit bumped up from the numbers because of just the giant chain pulls that the sim isn't accounting for. But, you know, is what it is. Moving on from Alpharis, Uldemon, Legacy of Tear. Again, same old story. Left, right is better. Um, this is a pretty standard route. Actually, nothing was too crazy here. So I would just play left, right in all cases. Um, coming down to the Underrot, left, right, again, better. This is uh, Spread Eagle. It just, the name didn't say for some reason. You see Frag and GT bringing up the rear. Uh, again, you know, this is just the better one. And then finally, we have Vortex Pinnacle. And here I was a little bit surprised. But like, you know, the proof is in the pudding here. Uh, left, right is doing significantly better than the other two in this sim. So, you know, this, this is pretty telling. Of course, there are assumptions made in the sim. And some of these assumptions do end up giving um, a little bit of a boost to left, right. But I don't think it's enough to overcome like a 12,000, 13,000. 20,000 DPS deficit. So I do think these sims are helpful. I do think it's important to keep in mind your own routes and you know how much of a percentage of the health of enemies you account for. You know, it, maybe it's not 27%, maybe it's more, maybe it's less. Um, so there are these things that you can sim for yourself. I would recommend doing that if you're unsure about what to play. Um, I showed you guys how to do the thing. I'll link the week or in the description. I'll link the routes in the description. So, you know, it's important to sim yourself, uh, your gear, your character, your routes might have different results, but you know, going with the good routes that the pros are using, going with like the best gear you can have on a character, as a bit of like a hypothetical scenario, uh, we can see that these routes here with these things lead us to want to play the left, right, mythic plus build. So that is going to be it for the video today. I just want to show you guys kind of these sims that I myself have done. Um, I'll probably do another one whenever a train gets around to it. He's a bit better at simming than I am. Uh, so we'll see if something there is different. Um, if there's nothing changes, I won't do a video. But if something changes, I will end up doing a little bit of an update there. But I hope you guys enjoyed this. I hope you guys got a little bit more of an insight into what's happening with Havoc builds and stuff like that. And what to play where and when. And uh, if you have any questions, you know, drop them down below. Obviously, I would love to help out. Uh, most in the Havoc Discord, drop a question there. Um, but looking like these uh, builds, the left-right build is going to be king. Um, for dungeons once again. So with that, I hope you guys enjoyed. If you liked the video, again, hit the sub button, help me out, drop a comment and a like as well, help spread the video, help me grow. And I will see you guys next time. Peace. A big thank you to my channel members, one to one pain, Zach Ward, It's Bulk and Flapjack67. You guys are amazing and help me to put out this content that I do for all you guys. If you want to become a channel member, there's a link in the description. You get access to a ton of cool perks, exclusive emotes for comments and live chat whenever I stream on YouTube, as well as a ton of other things and just get to help me make better content. Once again, thank you all so, so, so much. I really appreciate it. And thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Peace.